Keats and another guy who was born and raised in this town is Republican Congressman Tom Cole. I say he was born here. This is his home. And for a while, he served as a groundskeeper at the Plaza Towers Elementary School that was destroyed in this storm. Congressman, it's great to see you. Good morning. Glad you're here. Uh, thank you. for. Uh, it's good to be here. How is your family doing? How are your neighbors doing? Very lucky. Uh, Archie was meeting with a colleague of mine, uh, Doc Hastings, from the state of Washington. and had the television on we knew tornadoes were near I looked up and I said my gosh that's my cleaners uh, you know that's just been destroyed and uh, obviously began to immediately uh, try to get back here and uh, we knew uh, we were gonna have a tough situation on the ground but these are awfully tough people and uh, we've been this done this before sadly so we're pretty good at dealing with it 1999 the May 3rd tornado was like a billion dollars in damage have, have you even begun to try to figure out what kind of money it's going to take to it's rebuild this early, community? you know, and, and uh, you, the first thing I do is focus on the people, obviously, the folks that lost family and friends and homes and make sure they're taken care of, and that's underway. Uh, you know, the larger damage assessment will take a little bit longer, but it's going to be, you know, very serious. I think probably, you know, in 99, the uh, F-5 was on the ground longer and affected more air. Clearly, we're going to need some help, and I'm sure it'll be forthcoming. Back in January, you did something that a lot of your Republican colleagues did not do. You supported that bill for federal assistance, money for the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Did, did Was part of your vote on that issue because in the back of your mind, you were thinking about your community knowing that it was vulnerable to, to it, Mother you know, Nature? It, it was. I actually told a colleague at the time, I said, you know, you have to remember, he asked me why you're voting this way, and I said, look, you're from Oklahoma, you're one tornado away from being Joplin, Missouri. And so uh, uh, I was Secretary of State here in the Oklahoma City bombing. And I believe, you know, when you have a disaster, yes, you want to be prudent. And I applaud my colleagues for trying to do that and do it the right way. There are ways to do it. But you immediately help the people in the affected areas. And, uh, you know, on the Sandy vote, we had an offset vote. That's perfectly appropriate. But once that didn't make it, you want to continue and go ahead and help the people that need to help. Uh, that's what we've always done as Americans. I feel very strongly about that. Uh, we again, we got a lot of help here in the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995 or 99. Uh, so when things like Katrina happen or things like Sandy, when since I've been in Congress, I, I figure you know it's kind of you know payback time for us. Congressman Tom Cole, Congressman, Matt, it's a you. pleasure. Our thoughts with the people here in, in Moore. Appreciate it very much. Thank you for joining us. We've got Janet Shamley and joining us here as well in Moore and. The side of the story you're looking at, Janet, is how websites, social media, social helping media. some of the victims, big and small, from this tragedy. Absolutely. It's really changed the dynamics, Matt, of a tragedy like this. Facebook, Twitter has been a great resource in reuniting family and friends, but beyond that,